Alright guys, this is Mark with Shadow Wolf Designs, uh, giving you another tutorial. This time it is Adobe Illustrator. Do by request. And this time I'm starting from the basics again. Um, but I'm going to be covering less tools than I did in the Photoshop ones just to try and make these shorter. So I already have this set up and ready to go. Um, what we're going to be covering today is the selection tools. Got four of them here, and I'm going to cover three of them. All right, first is the regular selection tool. Most of you guys should be familiar with this, not too complicated, but just in case you're not, you click on something and it selects it. Um, you can also click, hold, and drag, and it selects a group of items or objects. Um, just want to let you guys know, real quick, because it is different than Photoshop. In Adobe Illustrator, objects are not defined by layers, they're defined by themselves. Um, each object is an independent object and can be moved at any time independent of all the other objects. Unlike Photoshop where layers are defined or each layer is independent, you can alter each layer but you can't alter individual objects such as this line. And if you actually look over at my layers, this is layer one, and if I hit this little arrow and drop it down, you see all the different pathways that are on layer one. And each of those is its own object. All right, so again, regular selection tool, click and drag, or just click, you can select anything. Also, if you click on an object and then hold shift and click on another one, it selects both of those together. And you can use that to select as many objects as you need to. Alright, direct select tool. Under here there's actually two. There's direct select tool and group selection tool. Um, I don't use group selection. I use direct select. Um, so I'm just going to cover that one. Direct select is nice because either you can select an object like you can with the uh, regular selection tool. Or if you click, don't have anything selected at all come over to these anchor points because every object is made up of anchor points in Adobe Illustrator. That's what gives an object its shape. Straight lines have two end points. You can add anchor points in there which I'll go over in another tutorial. And this one already has an anchor point added in. And then the circles have four anchor points. Top, bottom, right, and left. But the nice thing about the direct select tool is if you click on an anchor point, you can move it. So you can both size and rotate, or in cases where there's an anchor point like this one in the middle of the line that actually alters the course of the line, you can take that and move it and change the degree of the bend or the angle of the bend. Now, before you make your first edit, to a line or adjustment to a line. Um, let's say I have an object selected with the regular selection tool. I come over here and try and move it or alter it. It just moves it like it was the regular selection tool. So click off to make sure you don't have it selected and then you can rotate or adjust in whatever manner you want to. Now once you've edited one point you can go in and edit any other point on that line without having to click off and click back on. Magic wand tool, I'm not going to go over. It's not like Photoshop. You can't select the background because the background is not a image like it is in Photoshop where you can actually have that be part of the picture. This is just, it's called the artboard and it does nothing other than show you where your document your display document will be once you're finished. Alright, and then you have your magic lasso tool. Just, or not magic lasso tool, it's just a lasso tool. But like the lasso tool in Photoshop, whatever you circle, it will select. However, unlike Photoshop, because these are paths and you, can, you have to select the entire path, I can click over here, highlight the figure 8, and I actually selected the entire path for each one of those but I didn't select anything else. Alright, so that was 
a quick overview of the selection tools. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please uh, click the little like button and leave a comment. Thank you and have a great day.